Conventional wisdom would always favor taking the safer route, but for Ikram Rahim, playing it safe just wasn't an option. I was curious to discover what drove this pioneering dancer and choreographer to take the leap, so I met up with him in Durban. When he's on stage, Ikram Rahim performs with all the energy of a whirlwind. And even in the studio, you can sense the passion and concentration that he focuses on his art. It's this commitment to delivering his best that captures the hearts of the audience and his students. Now head wobble. At school, I found that teachers could either make or break a subject. Ikram Rahim is not just a dedicated dancer and choreographer, he's also a very passionate teacher. And I'm very excited to experience his enthusiasm and drive. Hello. Tell me How everything about you now. <laughs> How are you doing? So good. Where does your story begin? I think it begins in my teenage years, being around so many creative people. My mom with fabrics, my dad with antiques, you know, and just the flavor of the community, really. And if we met you in primary school, who would we have met? You would have come across a typically ADD diagnosed kid, really. It just didn't exist back then. Lots of games, lots of running around, lots of trying to be the leader pretending my dad's bucky was a boat and, I w and people needed to save me from a shark attack. Lots of imagination. How did dance enter your life and at what point did you decide to make it your career? Once I graduated, I really loved what I studied. I pursued a commerce degree. And once I was in the workforce, I realized that I wanted to dance. So basically at that moment, I resigned, walked out of my job and started dance. Ikram, how did your training begin? My training began in India. Once I decided I was going to resign, I registered myself to the Shah Mukhtar Institute of Performing Arts in Bombay and booked a ticket and flew off, not knowing what was going to come next. My training in India was basically an amalgamation of dance styles, which is why I train under the banner of Bollywood, because it allows you to bring a whole lot of dance styles together. So I've trained in a little bit of classical, contemporary, a whole lot of jazz, and of course the folk elements of Indian culture. And when you bring them together, you get Ikram. <laughs> As a dancer, what would you consider your career highlights to be? Career highlights for me, the I Am Project that I started in the early, my early 20s. So when I came back from studying in India, uh, I needed to find my space in the market. So in order to gain some information of what I wanted to do, we had the I Am course that we sold to public schools. So we trained them. It would be a split between physical education and dance. And at the end of the term, whatever the grade learned with me became part of a fundraising concert that they would then use to upgrade their school, textbooks, chairs, windows. So that had to have been the highlight for me. Ikram's work at school level had shown that he could inspire and shape aspiring young dancers. And the next stage of his career saw him performing alongside seasoned international stars. You've worked with a number of celebrities. Who did you enjoy working with the most? It was Ranveer Singh at uh, Saifta, choreographed by Geeta Kapoor. Great experience. The energy on stage, the energy that he brings as a performer, you immediately connect with it, relate, and it's just one big party. So I'm getting a very sort of dance vibe from you. I'm meeting a few of my students. Would you like to join us for the class? How could I ever say no? Well, let's do it. Ikram's students had been warming up in anticipation of Zaki's arrival. So welcome to our class. Hello ladies. Hi. Ikram, how do you go about creating a piece of dance and what inspires you? So texture really inspires me. So when I speak about texture, it could be fabric, it could be literature, it could be the space. Uh, this space I find at the moment uh, really inspires the work that we are working with in terms of political progression of South Africa. Um, so we've, we've come from a very sort of antique dance hall and now we're part of this urban uh, site and so th there seems to be a lot of choreography that is cultural but in a symbolic way. We're going to learn a very basic routine okay. very quickly. We'll stand with our feet together. Okay. This is called the box step. Okay. okay so we're going with our right leg okay. cross, side, back, together. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put some jazz hands into okay. that. And cross, side, back, together, press, cross, press, hip, one, two, Three, four, shall we take it from the box? Yeah, sure. Five, six, seven, smile. One, two, <laughs> three, 
four and no, no. Under the pole, push the wall, circle down, circle up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> what for you are the essential characteristics of being a good dance teacher? To understand your students, to be inspired by them, at the same time to be patient and nurturing. Very important to be a teacher. On your return from India, what was your assessment of the local dance scene? I wouldn't say that we were very far behind, but we were very much rooted into culture and religion. But there is a difference. So dance is not necessarily religious, but we were operating in that framework. And it, it took us a little bit of time to draw the distinction between religion, culture and dance. What do you have planned for the dance extravaganza at the end of the year? The show is called Not uh, The Nature of Dance, which is going down at the Playhouse on the 4th of August. Very exciting, it's Women's Month, so we're trying to bring in a bit of that. And the ambiguity of dance. In fact, we are shooting for our poster today. Would you like to join us? How could I say no? Let's do it. A corner of the studio had been transformed into a moody, eastern fantasy setting. Ikram, the first thing that catches my attention is how gorgeous that outfit is. That's the ethnic South African print that we're going for. Of course, there's many pieces, um, Middle Eastern inspired, obviously Indian folk inspired. And when you bring it together and you add some of the accessories that we get from all sorts of journeys from around our dance experience around the world, it adds to that melting pot of dance that we want to have locally. That in mind, I have a surprise for you. I just want to wrap up here and I'll meet you downstairs. I love surprises. Perfect. Ikram is as meticulous in preparing a costume and model for a photo shoot as he is in rehearsing a dance. Meanwhile, Zaki's surprise had been revealed with the Rampage Dance Company waiting to join her for an impromptu flash dance in the street. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hit it one. Seven, eight. <laughs>